Hey guys, what's up? It's this Pickle Bros here. Um, so I'm going to do a little tutorial series. I was asking a bunch of people and they were interested, but a lot of you guys have mentioned how you like how I animate my style, or whatever. And uh, I thought I'd just do a little, uh, like <laughs> my little tips and tricks I've picked up over the years. I used to make brother, um, sorry, movies with my brother and my little brother, and uh, we kind of just eight or seven years or whatever. You kind of just pick up a lot of tips and tricks, so that's uh, personally what I believe is how I'm able to apparently animate with uh, some smoothness or whatever. Um, and I hopefully through this series I'll probably do like um, one or two or maybe three parts. And uh, I won't be going over very very technical things. I'm going to be going over very basic like in 3D view, like the actual animation of it. Um, I'm probably going to go over some camera angle techniques um, just to give your a little more like cinematic kind of feel to it, like not amateur camera um, camera work. Um, I also will probably be going over run cycles and walk cycles. I'm not amazing at them either, but I'll show you really basic ones and hopefully with the ease and easy tech, sorry, ease in and ease out technique uh, tips I'll be giving you. You can kind of put it all together and work with it and make your own better animation. So, anyways, um. This video will probably just be about easing ease out. I'm not going to cover much in this. It's currently extremely late. Um, well, I guess early. It's uh, 3.24 in the morning. So I'm probably just going to cover some simple stuff with ease and ease out um, and animate at the same time. And What I'm working on right now is a project I'm doing for someone. Uh, it should be done about a month and then maybe a half, maybe two months at the latest. Uh, to fight kind of animation. it's really neat i think you guys will like it it's pretty cool i've never done fight scenes before i'm really excited to do that um but yeah i'm just animating the intro right now so uh basically the first thing i want to um if you guys know easing the sorry easing out ease in and ease out sorry uh is essentially an animation technique to give your animation people a more lifelike look and basically it's the idea that if you just animate something in a computer graphic uh, like lift arm for example it will lift the arm but blender kind of makes it look a bit um, how do you say edgy i guess it's not as um smooth it's not very appealing it looks kind of unlifelike because it and i know you can adjust it in the f graph um but that can be very time consuming and you can even do the ease and out ease sorry ease in and ease out technique and then adjust it to get even a, a better effect in blender um, that's what i like to personally do and it's all really just about tweaking the fine things. It's really easy to get the basic movements down, but the difficult part of animating is kind of being able to, you know, fine tune the movements. Um, and that's basically what my tips will be coming to this whole thing. It's just getting uh, those little details that make the animation look a lot better. So first, I'm getting off topic. Um, easy, easy, like I explained before, is essentially just basically if I lift the arm out right there, Blender then tells it to lift it up like that. But if I want to give it a bit of a more lifelike appeal to ease out, um, I'd essentially just add a keyframe, maybe about half the time after. So, sorry, set for it, maybe like that. So basically, it moves half the distance in this keyframe, but it's the same amount of time. So it gives it a more kind of smooth, like that's an extreme example. But uh, you can see how instead of just abruptly stopping there, it kind of allows time to smooth out. So if maybe if I just give it a little. Yeah, like that. You can see how that arm right there. So that looks a bit better. And you just, what you do is you just fill it around with it and uh, you kind of find something that looks good. So it doesn't look like the arm is abruptly stopping. And, um, so going back to the technique, ease in and ease out, sorry, ease in and ease out is basically based uh, upon the kind of idea in physics that when you um, when you do something um, with with any object or movement in life, it, that object is affected by said object. Um, it's like the precursor to it. So, for example, a simple example of this is when you're in a car. Oh dear, what's happening? Oh, I see. Um, when you're in a car, for example, you or whoever's driving slams on the brakes, the car stops. But uh, the car stops, but like I said, your body keeps moving, and that's because of inertia. 
this idea that uh, retain momentum. And so what you want to do is kind of convey this, and this pops up a lot when people realize in animations, like almost every movement your character make. What is it? Every movement your character is making is affected by set physics, so you have to really take that count. I can't stress this enough, but this will make your just just your general movements look so much better if you just take the time to kind of. Um, like just if you're going for a walk in the park, or you're walking to school, or just look at things, especially organic things, and kind of just notice how they move. Like I, my friends make fun of me for sometimes, but like sometimes I'll just be walking behind them um, to like our lunch room, or we'll go into a store during lunch break, and I'll just be like watching them walk, and they're like, "What are you doing, Frank?" I'm like, "I'm just uh, nothing, fine." But as weird as it sounds, it's a really good thing to do. I encourage you as an animator to take it up as a practice. It, I found it has helped me a lot. Significant. Also another thing, I will when I go over the walk cycle and the run cycle, um, a lot of animators like to like have this kind of notion that it's cheating, quote unquote, to use references. And I find that ridiculous. I mean, the very definition of anime is anime, like to bring to life. So how can you bring something to life without studying life itself? So if you if you just study how things react, um, the ease in and ease out technique, for example, becomes very apparent. And uh, so, for example, going back to the reference thing, um, I encourage you also to look up online for images of walk cycles. So if a guy is uh, if, a guy, if someone's posted on their blog, oh, this is my walk cycle, and there'll be many 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 variations of walk cycles. So there'll be some people who do a walk cycle in 20 frames, some people do it in 10 frames. But just kind of look at them all and uh, uh, just see people's different uh, styles of walk cycles. And once you, I'll show you a basic walk cycle in this video, but once you get kind of a basic understanding of this idea of a walk cycle, you'll see the more and more you do it, you can kind of gain this very um, uh, like well-established understanding. And that will allow you to essentially just play around with it even more after that and be able to make animations. Uh, sorry, walk cycles, um, more stylized, you can make them different, they don't always look the same. So for example, you could get across that the guy's tired or excited, not just one same walk cycle. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to cut the video right here real quick. I just want to show you guys uh, an example of this ease in it. Ease up. All right, guys, so uh, this was the teaser. This is the file. You can tell my keyframes. Uh, I think about five hours to animate. It wasn't so bad. Um, basically, this is uh, so. so uh, I'm gonna show you this because I think it's really a good example. Sorry of uh, ease and ease out, and I'll show you what I mean. So I, I kind of was lazy when I animated the arm because you couldn't really see it through the camera angle. But so you can see every movement I make especially when you're focusing on individual, it's very important to make it look realistic. You want a decent looking animation, or believable looking animations, to do the ease in, ease out and see how, or just think about how the, 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 the physics would kind of work with that. So for example, you can see when he breathes, I have a keyframe that slowly goes up. So like you can see how it kind of, I put keyframes to accelerate it. It's down, that's easing in. But I really want to show you is the arm. That's the brahe, that's the big thing. So what happens is, Zoom in there. You can see how every single movement I make, like for example, the head waking up. So that movement right here of this head coming up, that was one keyframe, right? And I could have just stopped it or Blender 1, me too, but then it would have made it look pretty abrupt. But I, I add a keyframe a bit after and I make a small movement. So you can see the time between the head, the head barely moves um, at all. I think, do I continue it on another keyframe? I do, a tiny bit. So all three keyframes right here, I make the head continue to move up, but slowly, um, sort of more slowly each time, and that will make the gradual kind of stop, not the like abrupt stop that looks really unrealistic. And you can still have a sharp stop, but your little ease out, your ease out, so it just have to be super tiny, but it still gives it more organic feel. So for example, I play it, you can see that right there. And then you can see again with that, when we talk about physics too, is just, I, I can't stress this enough, but like, if your head comes up, it doesn't stop where it is. It's going to continue to go up a bit and then come back down because uh, that's just how things work, right? Like you have weight behind your head and it's going to carry you back up and then down a bit. 
and every movement I, I can show you if you and another one when I look to the side I don't stop the head right there I continue the head on a tiny bit so the head barely moves in between these two keyframes but it's the same amount of time as the original one so that means it's half the movement in the same amount of time so move slowly out and blender's really neat it'll actually blend these two for you and it'll kind of um, blend these two moons together automatically so it gives you a very smooth kind of I look so I'll play that as another example of he looks aside and you see right there I had quick movements but they weren't abrupt you could see how the weight kind of carried behind the body um, and speaking of the weight this is probably the last thing I'll touch upon um, this is the final example I'm going to show you with the arms but you can see how every single thing on your body reacts I see a lot of animations where the character will quickly turn his head if you quickly move your head that thing weighs how big are like 10 15 pounds I don't know how much it weighs but your head can be pretty top heavy it will influence the lower body so when I see people move ahead in animation and nothing else like the body doesn't react at all with it that's immediately giveaway of something that isn't um, realistic so for example when I move my head you can see how I move the chest and the arms so if we look at the chest first off you can see when I move it to the side the chest kind of slowly falls behind it so the head looks that way the torso keeps moving a few seconds after the head and then it looks that way and the arms is a really good example of this idea of that like it keeps moving after the head has stopped so when I when the head looks over there you can see how the arm kind of follows and what when the head stops the arm keeps going I oh, yeah, see I was lazy there I wanted to get it up but that's right on my bad but uh, you can see the same thing with this in a bad way is when the head keeps going this doesn't start right away right the momentum hasn't affected the arm yet so don't make the arm move right away so you can see how the arms barely moving in the beginning and then when it's almost done then I start to make the arm move give it kind of a, a like a reaction like if you turn your head right now really quickly in your seat you'll notice like if you hold your arms to the side and move your head quickly your arms start still moving after your head stopped right so I was just kind of trying to convey that so if I play and you just look at the arms specifically you'll see how they kind of react to the body a bit like even this one down here I like to make it shake a bit and just show um, like I said all these little details just make it seem um, teeny bit more uh, realistic or smooth or again so I'm just gonna move back to the original blend file um, hey guys so more thing for and it sorry for rambling but this is what I'll probably be covering in the next thing um right that should be Uh, your walk should look something like this. This is very basic. I didn't put a lot of time into it. Um, it's a bit rough around the edges. Um, you probably have to adjust some keyframes and such and such. But you, I'll show you guys generally how to do something. Just kind of basic like that. It's not very long. But, like you notice, I didn't animate the arm or the head or the chest. But I just wanted to show off kind of the the arms again, especially with the ease in, ease in, ease out thing. How they kind of go up, down the legs too oh before sorry what i would probably want to cover as the biggest thing with the walk cycle especially run cycles not so bad because like i said it's really fast to run cycle so uh, viewers miss a lot of mistakes which you shouldn't be making them but if you happen to it's not as bad because you know, it's kind of happening quickly so it looks more natural but with walk cycle um my first few attempts is i made the mistake of pronouncing I will show you that there's different steps involved, like the blocking and everything, but people will do this type of thing. And it looks really bad because then you have a guy lifting his leg like that. And I see it so much. Um, I mean, I'm not being a jerk or anything, but uh, I, I don't know about you guys. I see this all the time. Like the character will, that's the word, overpronounce his walk. And it looks ridiculous because it looks like he's stomping around the place, you know. But um, I'll show you just guys how to kind of make the subtle movements and get a a smoother better looking hopefully walk cycle and i hope you guys take away from it. so i'll probably upload that uh, tomorrow or the day after that sometime